Hey guys, this is your friend Iggy back again. Today I'm going to do an unboxing and a brief overview over HyperX's brand new Pulsefire FPS Pro RGB gaming mouse. So come over here real quick and I'm going to talk you through it as I'm doing the unboxing. Kind of excited to see how it feels. Again, the HyperX Pulsefire FPS Pro RGB gaming mouse. Alright, so it says it right up here, upgraded sensor for ultimate precision, ingenuity, RGB, see along the side, just the mouse kind of profile. And then over here, they kind of go over some of the features and specifications, which I'm going to go through as I'm doing this unboxing. And then back here, comfortable ergonomic design with RGB lighting, and then they show some of the lighting effects. So I'm just going to go ahead and open it up real quick. It'll make it too easy to open up, so I'm just going to tear it open. Okay. And so I'm just going to open it up upside down. Nothing else in here. You can see that, but that's writing on the inside of the box. China Rojas Hazardous Substance Table. Okay. HyperX has you covered. Got issues with your HyperX product? Contact our experienced team for quick response and support. Along the back, HyperX has you covered. Got issues with your HyperX? Contact experienced team for quick response. Kind of the same thing we read along the front. Okay, and then congratulations on joining the HyperX family. And along the front, just some marketing photos. Then HyperX Pulsefire FPS Pro Gaming Mouse Quick Start Guide. Just tells you what each and every point is on the mouse. And I will go through this a little bit later on in the actual review of the mouse. But right now, you know, we're just covering the unboxing. Okay, and then... I'm going to take this out, or off I should say, take this piece off, and let's go ahead and get this out of here. All right, as I'm taking this off, I just want to mention this does have a two-year warranty. All right, the cable is about six feet long. Yep, and she is also black braided or braided black cables I should say and that is the USB connection right here move this out of the way so you get a clearer picture okay I will we'll say the mouse has a very comfortable feel very very familiar it feels nice in your hand it's not too big it's not too small all right so then we have the little rolling wheel right here which feels very nice it doesn't have a an incredibly hard lock but you do feel it okay then that's of course a button right here just clicking down right here then there is this DPI selector this does have DPI presets of 800, 1600, and 3200, but the native DPI is up to 16,000 DPI, which is pretty awesome. It's using the Pixart PMW3389 sensor, pretty nice sensor. The speed goes up to 450 IPS, acceleration of 50 G. And all right, so then we have the, oops, uh, stuck to my finger the very familiar forward and back button so that's one two three four five and six buttons along with these buttons you can see right over here the rubberized side panel and it is textured just to make sure your your hand doesn't move around too much the left and right mouse buttons are Omron micro switches 
which is 20, 000, 20 million clicks okay and it is backlit rgb 16.7 million colors it has one rgb lighting zone and four brightness levels per zone rgb lighting customizable with hyperx ingenuity software which i will show you a little bit later on along the bottom once this is removed they have what they call mouse skates which i've never actually heard it called that before but these rubber pads they call them mouse skates so they're extra large mouse skates which or rubber pads they're usually a lot smaller than this so they say it helps you know for smoother controlled gliding which is pretty cool love to see how that works a little bit later on you can see along the bottom the hyperx logo and then some of the certificates it has along with the model number pulse fire fps pro hx mc 3 b all right so it has onboard three three memory profiles the connection as i mentioned before is usb 2.0 it has a 1000 hertz pulling rate and a 16-bit axis. So without the cable, this weighs 95 grams. With the cable, 130 grams. So this is 127.60 millimeters long, 41.90 millimeters tall, and 71.10 millimeters wide. The cable length is, as I mentioned, 1.8 meters, which actually I think I said it wrong before, but anyway, it is 1.8 meters. And again, as I mentioned before, HyperX didn't go for some amazing new hold, some amazing new feel in your hand. This is a very, it feels very comfortable, very familiar. And the mouse is not very heavy. I'm curious to see just how well it works. So anyway, I will get back to you very soon on that. But again, this was just a quick unboxing and overview of the HyperX Pulsefire FPS Pro RGB Gaming Mouse. Yeah, see you guys.